I'm sick with an allergy infection, so uh, I can't really do a new soap review. So I'm going to review something that I've had for a while. It's one of my uh, favorite performing soaps, Viking soaps. And uh, this is in the Citron scent. And keep in mind, since I bought this over a year ago, so the Citron scent has been changed since I bought it then. And it has uh, been improved. It's more of a, limp, a kind of a heavy, not heavy, but a, a lighter citrus, like citronella with uh, the dominant note being lemon, at least to my nose. And a little bit of grapefruit in there too. But um, anyway, they sell these at 5.5 an ounce, you know, net weight at between 11.50 and like 13.50. So that's near Sterling. Sterling sells 5.8 ounce jars. It's very close to the same value. So um, the performance, while it's a little stir, it's a little thirstier than Sterling, but it's very easy to lather and it can take a ton of water. It's super slick. I mean, this is a high performing soap, and I don't see many people use it. And I think that's a shame. Um, maybe they need a few more scents. Maybe they need to improve the label game. I like this one okay, but some of them look a little amateurish. Um, especially the side labels here, um, as you can probably not see. I'll have a closer look at it, though. Maybe a photo so you can see that better. But um, this is one of my favorite performing soaps, hands down. I think it's, they're highly underrated. Um, they, they have a lot of good ingredients. They have two butters, mango and shea butter, and uh, hydrolyzed oats, lanolin, tallow, and aloe. You know, many more things in here. These are made in um, Iowa by Andrew Hoisberg. Um, I don't know if he's active in Reddit or Facebook. I've seen him post some, but not a whole lot lately. Um, I'm not sure how busy he is or what he does aside from soaps. So I don't know him, but that's who he is. You can check him out on Instagram and, or just the Viking page. He posts... Um, off and on there so stay tuned for the shave very good so it is this is not a freeze your face off soap like you know yeti's not or cryogen or any of those but it's just enough it gets colder as it goes on but it's a it's a it's very moderate you don't even really smell the menthol in it very much it's just hardly there unless your nose is sensitive to the menthol you're not going to detect it a whole lot so a casual menthol menthol fan will like this one a lot and especially if you're a citrus fan it's just Smells great. Look at this coverage. It's one of the better lathers that I've documented on this channel so far. Just very good. I'm going to add a little water just to make sure it doesn't dry on me. Um, you do have to watch it to make sure that doesn't happen. Gillette Slim with a um, Gillette Silver Blue Blade on setting five for about four and a half days growth. Now, I tend to set the setting according to how many days it's been since I've shaved. So since it's been close to five days, setting five. And I'll go down as I, I'll go down the four or three for the subsequent passes. So I'm gonna shut up and get this going. Cruising along, that's already super close. Residual check. Let's do a residual check here. Yeah, it's fine. I haven't done two passes and felt my face wet. Um, <clears throat> I do have a little bit of a knock on this soap, and it's the residual slickness. Um, on normal, I don't need residual slickness, even if it's there, I just don't. I don't use it, I always relather anyway. Cuts uh, a little worse than I thought it was. But um, yeah, it's, it's not, it's slick on its own, but for whatever reason, I'm just not getting the best like residual slickness from it. It's okay, I mean, it's not bad, but I've certainly had much better. Um, Coffee Spoons, that last soap I um, reviewed, is much slicker after being rent. your face is rinsed, you know, than this one. So it's good in every category but that. So, win some, you lose some. All right, so I've applied my alum and the witch hazel for this shave. Um, the, the, the alum definitely stung me, like, pretty much all over my face. Um, I'm not seeing any welts come up, but it's making me reconsider what I came into this video thinking about this soap. Um, is it a good value? Yes, absolutely. It's almost on par, on par with sterling. Um, the lather is consistent. It's easy to load. Um... It's very easy to overload, actually. The lather is very consistent. It's got a good sheen to it. It can take water. But it did not seem as slick to me 
um, as it has in the past. And I'm not sure if I didn't use enough water, which didn't look like the case to me, or if my memory was just, uh, you know, shot. It's been a while since I used it. I think it was last summer. So at least August, maybe. Um, so definitely take back my words that it is as good as the Hibernister Main Glissant base because um, it's not quite there, but it's good. Um, if, <clears throat> if residual slickness is a make or break issue with you, um, maybe you don't want this soap. I don't know. Um, your mileage may vary. My mileage seems to have varied for between using this soap. So, um, not too sure, but, um, I'd still give this one a high score regardless, just because of, uh, how, you know, it's a, it's a good performer and for the price. Another thing I want to add before uh, the video ends is that I am going to amend the way I score things. I'm going to leave the same chart on there so you can see where, how I score everything, but I'm not going to give a cumulative number score to it. Um, plenty, there's been a few times where I scored something in the, you know, high, mid to late seventies. And I still think that's a good score because according to my, you know, chart, but, um, um, some people may think it's like a report card and you're getting a C and that's not really what I'm saying. I'm just saying it's not elite. It's good, but it's not elite, but I'm done with that. I'm just going to stick to the graph charts. You can see, you know, a numerical rating of each category of the soap and I'm not, I'm dispensing with that and I may add some more categories to it. So who knows? Um, we'll see in the future. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe, comment if you want to. And, uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.